Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today I just wanted to do a very quick video to look at a pretty interesting gun. This is a Soviet Nagant revolver. Actually, it's not Soviet. It is a Russian uh, Nagant revolver made in 1912 at the Tula Arsenal. Uh, this is an unmodified World War, pre-World War I production gun. And as you can see, it's definitely seen some battlefield service. You've got a little bit of different checkering in the grips. Somebody has decided they wanted some lines going this way as well. So you've got the original factory checkering plus what's been added. Um, most of the bluing is fading to a sort of a patina, but it is still in nice condition. Uh, certainly it works just fine. And uh, there's traces of fire blue still on some of the parts, some of the small parts, but um, nothing too amazing. Um, again, these grips have also been reworked on this side as well. And you can see the original factory marking there for Tula uh, 1912. And this one is interesting in that uh, the Czar's uh, symbol did survive on the frame. A lot of these got the czarist symbols removed by uh, red soldiers who didn't want anything to do with the czar on their firearms this is actually one of the uh, so-called privates models in that it is a single action only gun so every time you want to shoot you have to cock it uh, they made these in a single and double action version the double action supposedly for ncos the single action for uh, privates and just folks who I guess weren't officers. These were easier to make and cheaper, so they were uh, sent out more. They're actually a lot more rare to find, uh, and the only way you can tell it's going to be a single action is by trying to pull that trigger. That's going to uh, not do anything, so you're going to have to cock it each time, and you can see the characteristic long firing pin, and the cylinder has gone into place here so that you've got a perfect gas seal and uh, as you know or may not know uh, this will seal with the barrel and the cartridge itself is actually uh, the bullet is seated down in the cartridge so you get about an extra 75 fps out of these because there's no uh, gas that is lost in the the jump from the cylinder to the barrel also one of the only uh, fire or revolvers that can be silenced uh, so this is just a survivor of World War I and pre-World War I and then the uh, Communist Revolution. Kind of an interesting gun. You don't see a lot of pre-World War I uh, Nagant revolvers that have survived unmodified. And this is just a very interesting example that um, showed up. So as always, uh, leave a comment. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be doing more videos soon. Thanks for watching.